I wish that Marvel Comics had an Welcome back to Germanology. Uh, as the intro indicates, I wish Marvel had an international superhero team. So let me give you a little bit of history. Let me walk you around the comic book industry a little bit. And then I'm gonna actually propose that international superhero team. So in 1982, uh, a limited series was released by Marvel called Contest of Champions. I had a friend um, <coughs> that was a, a, a bit more of a comic collector than myself. Uh, his access to comics was greater than mine. And when I say collection or access, these were readers. We were comic readers. We were not collectors per se. Uh, and my friend got his hands on the three issue limited series, uh, Contest of Champions, written by Mark Grunewald. Mark Grunewald, as you may well know, uh, is the author of uh, Squadron Supreme, of which I have this piece of uh, original art by the artist uh, Paul Ryan. Uh, rest in peace, rest in peace, uh, Mark Grunewald. Uh, he's also the author of uh, DP7, which is one of my favorite series as well. <coughs> so Squadron Supreme and DP7. Uh, he ranks very high up there. So what this series was, it was introduced, <coughs> it was actually written in um, leading up to the 1980 Olympics, which I believe were in Russia, Summer Olympics in Russia. Um, and so the storyline does introduce a bunch of international heroes. Uh, but what happened is as a result of some controversy, uh, the United States pulled out of that Olympics and Marvel Comics decided to shelve the series. They later revisited it, added a different storyline around it, <coughs> and released it as the Contest of Champions which is what we have. Uh, in that series, uh, there are a plethora of international heroes because, again, it was intended to be a nod to the Olympics, uh, which included, and I'm going to refer to my list, uh, Shamrock from Ireland, Vanguard and Darkstar from Russia, Arabian Nights from Saudi Arabia, Talisman from, I believe, Australia, Defense Order from Argentina, I think. Um, let's see, Defense Order from Argentina. Argentina, yes. Uh, Sasquatch from Canada. Le Peregrine or Peregrine from France. Blitzkrieg from Germany. Uh, Sabra from Israel. Collective Man from China. And then Sunfire from Japan, just to name a few. Um, <coughs> of those, Shamrock from Ireland. Talisman from uh, Australia. Defensor from Argentina. Peregrine from France and Blitzkrieg and the collect Blitzkrieg from Germany and the Collective Man from China were all introduced or created for this series. So um, there is a good basis for some international superheroes around the comic industry. In 1984 at DC Comics, I believe it was the Super Friends comic, which also introduced into what I believe is regular DC continuity, the Wonder Twins, a team called the Global Guardians was introduced. So this is a team, an international team that's brought together to kind of meet international challenges. So kind of walking around um, <coughs> the comic book world. But before we do that, what that did is that original contest of champions and then shortly thereafter getting some exposure i believe my first exposure to guardians uh, global guardians was via a, a library comic but getting the, the exposure to those types of heroes really heightened my uh, awareness of books or characters of foreign nationality or teams of foreign nationality <coughs> so as we, I walk you kind of around the comic book industry, some of these are just teams of foreign nationals, some of these are individuals, and some of these are um, multinational teams. So kind of, I've already mentioned um, 
Global Guardians, uh, which is a DC Alpha Flight, um, which was introduced in the X Men back in, I believe it was the Burn Claremont, like 124, a team of Canadian nationals, um, which has had at least three, four, five different volumes over the years, one being under the moniker of uh, Omega Flight, um, but of which I am a huge fan. Uh, Union Jack, um, which is uh, specifically a United Kingdom character. Um, and uh, I have two limited series on my shelf right now. Huge fan of the character that has a great history back into um, our um, the invaders and in, in our World War II era heroes were Captain America, Toro, Human Torch, Namor, <coughs> Union Jack, all fought together uh, against... Um, the uh, the evil powers, access powers of uh, World War II. Um, then there's the Soviet super soldiers, uh, which uh, I believe got their basis in the Incredible Hulk, um, has a variety of characters. There's a major, Gremlin, Dark Star, um, Red Guardian in later years, Vanguard, um, etc. Uh, they had a one shot called the Soviet super soldiers. I want to say it was in the 90s. And then probably about... <coughs> five to ten years ago had a series called Dark Star and Winter Guard uh, that was re-released that kind of reintroduced the concept of um, the Russian superhero team um, which I have that on my shelf as well. Um, there's Big Hero 6 that is out of Japan uh, of which Sunfire at one point uh, was a member of that team. <clears throat> there's Excalibur <coughs> which was based out of the UK but was not necessarily an international book based out of the UK, meaning that it had a basis in uh, Captain Britain and his uh, longtime girlfriend, Megan. Um, so that's kind of where the uh, international ends. Of course, uh, Nightcrawler was a member, he's from Germany, but um, I would say that's kind of where the international aspect ended was uh, with Captain Britain. Um, there is The Union, which is a new Marvel series um, that will release in trade paperback this summer that is, I believe, out right now. <clears throat> which is a UK based team, I believe led by Betsy Braddock, which is the new Captain Britain. I'm not, I don't follow a lot of the new Marvel stuff. Um, <clears throat> there's the great 10, uh, which is a, um, a Chinese or Japanese team based, um, in the DC universe. Uh, they came out of, um, one of the recent storylines, I think it was Final Crisis, uh, that produced uh, the Checkmate series, which was written by Greg, Greg Rucka. Um, huge, huge fan. Uh, on the Wildstorm uh, universe, there is Stormwatch. Stormwatch is an international team. It kind of, uh, throughout the years, has changed. Its original inception was international, um, and it even continued that probably through the first two volumes, um, and then kind of my way to, away from that in latter volume. Um, and then there was an indie by Gauntlet Comics uh, called UN Force, which I'm a huge fan of. Um, and I have multiple copies of the comic because I, I don't have it in uh, trade paperback because it was never released. It was released by Gauntlet Comics, which was a subdivision of Caliber Comics. It went for, I want to say, five issues and had a zero issue. And they were also launching a spotlight series where it would spotlight um, some of the characters because the series had something like 25 characters across 19 nations so it was, it was a huge lineup um, but a great concept so I want to talk about what would be my international team if I were to come up with an interna international team for Marvel so in providing you that kind of brief intro, I've already given you some precursors into likely candidates that I would say would make a great international superhero team uh, for the Marvel Universe. The application of, I'll leave that to the writers at Marvel to figure out like why would you even need an international team. But what I will say is these are some candidates. What I will also say is a lot of these candidates, specifically the ones created in the 80s, are very stereotypical. And what you'll see is as I talk about these heroes and I show the image, um, in some instances, uh, you'll quickly see it's a very stereotypical of what you would think of the character and the character name. Um, but also you need to note that some of these characters have gone through a variety of revisions and don't necessarily look 
uh, as, it, as they do in this image. So they may have been updated uh, since then. Here are the 14 characters that I would suggest to be part of an international superhero team at Marvel Comics in no particular order. Number one, the collective man. Uh, and again, I won't give you a lot of history of this. I will encourage you to go to Wikipedia and look up all these characters. I'll just show you an image here. Um, second, we need Russian representation. And I would say it could be one of multiple characters. Um, uh, but my suggestion would be Red Guardian, Vanguard, or Ursa Major. Uh, the problem being that in including them that you are uh, breaking up uh, the Winter Guard slash Soviet super soldiers. So would like another Russian candidate um, that does not have to um, make a major impact to another significant team within the Marvel Universe. So Colossus is uh, off the grid. Um, from Ireland, Shamrock. From France, Peregrine, Le Peregrine. Uh, from Australia, Talisman. <coughs> from Israel, Sabra. From Saudi Arabia, the uh, Arabian Knight. From Japan, so it would be one of the two of these, Sunfire or Silver Samurai. I'm leaning more towards Silver Samurai on that um, because uh, Sunfire has a little bit more of a higher profile. Of course, he could be the higher profile character that anchors this whole book if you really wanted it to. Um, um, from uh, the UK, Union Jack, again, that's a little more of a higher profile character, could anchor the book as well. So if you need a couple anchors, Union Jack and Sunfire might be able to do it for you. Um, along with the, one of the next candidates, which could be someone from Canada. This is a tough one as well. Um, what I did is I would suggest uh, Major Maple Leaf, which was a character in Alpha Flight Volume 3, I think. Uh, he was the son of the original Major Maple Leaf. While I don't like the character name, um, you could include that character in this book without impacting uh, any of the Alpha Flight continuity, any of the Alpha Flight um, prime characters. If you had to go with a prime character, um, again, two of my favorites, Sasquatch and Puck, but again, by taking them, you are impacting um, larger uh, possible books. Puck is used all over the place these days as is Sasquatch. So you're uh, affecting other other books and continuity by using those two. So I would say use a lesser known um, staple from uh, Canada. Next is Defensor from Argentina. Number 12 from the U.S. because we need U.S. representation on this team would be American Eagle. Uh, and <coughs> again, I mentioned that this character has gone through a variety of many of these characters have gone through a variety of changes, as has this one. These are all, as I mentioned, these are all examples of the classic uh, characters when they were introduced, not of their current or contemporary um, reimagining. Number 13, La Aguila, um, I think it is, from uh, Spain. And then finally, 14, Blitzkrieg. So what you're seeing is you're seeing at least six of those came from characters that were created almost as throwaway characters in the contest of Champions Book. What I can say is I know Sabra has... Um, been uh, in probably the last decade or so had some uh, ties into the X community. Um, so a lot of the X books and stuff going on, Sabra has been pulled into that. Also, I know that Collective Man probably in the last 15 years has made appearances in some of the X books. Um, that uh, Sunfire uh, and uh, Silver Samurai are tied to the X universe. Um, Arabian Night, uh, made an appearance in the most recent Union Jack limited series, um, as did Sabra. Um, so there's all these kind of hooks that they have in. But there you go. There they are. That is an international team that the Marvel Universe could launch. Now, there is a lot of duplication of abilities and powers. I did not scour my entire um, book set of um 
the handbook of the Marvel Universe to pull out a bunch of international. But these are top candidates. Again, I really like these. I like these candidates from these countries. I would to like to see a book that is similar to that indie book I referenced called UN Force of 20, 25, 30 different characters, kind of a UN run team that breaks down into small workable units and goes all over the globe and tackles these issues. I would love to see something like that in Marvel. So even expanding this roster to be even greater, to include multiple characters from uh, countries, that would be acceptable. So I'd love to see this at, at a roster of about 30, have this really huge book um, that, um, is just has multiple storylines going on with a major thread of um, governmental espionage running through the whole thing. So there you go. Those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think. Are there any dream comics that that you would like to see one of the uh, major players develop using existing char characters? Um, let me know in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up and like, and we'll talk next time on Germanology.